Hello. <coughs> Hello guys, hope you can see me and hear me okay. Just on the phone. Just wanted to make a super quick video here. Just uh, I haven't done nothing in a while on YouTube and just wanted to try and post something quick. Just to let you know guys, I'm currently updating the iFlight DC3. This is a new modified ver well the new or slightly newer version than the previous models with the updated flight controller, the F7 uh, flight controller and uh, the new motors and stuff and the slightly different antenna lay on the back of it. I think there's a few of these out but this is the slightly updated version and this is the wee uh, DAL RC F5 that I had built as well. I've done a video but the video is not yet out. <coughs> as you can see I'm currently updating the uh, air unit here. So that's what's happening at the minute. Guys look Hopefully within the next few days, I was away on holiday in sunny Lanzarote and I've just returned home and uh, just updating this here. This has arrived in the post while I was away so we're just getting it all set up. Soon I'll have a wee video online with this and a config file uh, for the iFlight DC3 with the F7D uh, uh, flight controller and the same as this but this is running the Mamba F4 stack flying pretty well now so guys keep an eye on the channel uh this is the dial uh rc f5 is it the f5 or h5 flip me i can't remember <laughs> the f5 i'm sure it's the f5 sweet looking wee machine uh coming in 200 grams without a battery but sadly with the the 4s battery it's coming in at 306 grams all up i'm not too sure on the weight on this but uh, i want to try and reduce a bit of weight on this guys so so guys, just keep an eye on the uh, YouTube channel in the next coming uh, few days or so. Maybe after, maybe after Christmas. Just keep an eye out anyway. And uh, hopefully on this little beastie here, we'll have a wee quick video showing you how this flies. This is available from Unmanned Tech in the UK. Uh, that's where I bought the frame from. And then what I've done was I used an old Diatone uh, GTR 349 guts, the flight controller and the motors and stuff. Uh, and I put them all into this and it's flying quite well now I had to update the ESC's the JESC firmware uh, to get bi-directional D shot and now I believe you can get bi-directional D shot on BL Heli S uh, for this ESC for free you know I had to pay for it uh, this one here I've just updated the flight controller in this and I've just updated the ESC's and everything in this as well so in the next couple of days but it'll probably be after Christmas I will have a little video showing you, especially mostly this one because there's not too much about this on the internet at the minute. This is a great wee machine. I'm not really into, I was never really into sub uh, 5 inch quads, as you see all my quads are 5 inch, but I built this one just because uh, I felt like it really and I had the old, uh, I had the old uh, Mamba or the Diatome uh, R349 and it was broke. The only thing is the motors are big, beefy and heavy. They're 1408s, whereas these are 1404s. So with different motors, you'd probably save an awful lot of weight. But the wee air unit packs in nice and tight. It was a tight wee build, but it's a clean wee build. You know, and everything goes in nicely. And it's flying pretty well for three inch, you know. A wee bit of a bobble in it. I'm going to have to try and sort out, but it's nothing really bad. So hopefully we'll get that sorted in the next couple of days. Do a test flight and I will have a config file. I'll do a wee short video with this flying. And I'll throw a dump file for you using my PIDs. And then the same as this one here. Uh, like I say, I'm just updating it, getting it all ready. It's updating here now uh, via the DJ Assistant. I want to get it all set up and working and flying, test flown. And then we'll get another wee look at this as well. Quite a good wee job couple of things I would have done slightly different in it that I might look at is the wires in there touching the air unit, squash between the capacitor and the air unit, which I'm not too keen on. And in the front here, just at the back of the camera, is the wiring going into the camera. It's slightly touching the flight controller. But uh, I'll, have a, I'll have a better look at that and uh, hopefully we will get something sorted and get it all tidied up. And we'll get it all up and running, guys. Anyway, look... If I don't see you all uh, before Christmas, guys, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all. Like I say, I just wanted to throw this wee video up. Let you have a wee quick sneak peek at what's going to be coming up over the next week or so. Uh, a lot of things to do. Like I say, only get home in the early hours of last night uh, from holiday. We're in Lanzarote and the start of the week the kids weren't well. So it was a, started off a nightmare week but then turned into a brilliant week. 
all inclusive, all you can eat, buffets, breakfast, lunch, dinner, everything. My belly's busted. <laughs> you know, but uh, finally home in the early hours of last night. And I just had to unpack today and do an awful lot of stuff. And now we're trying to get everything ready for Christmas for the kids and stuff, you know. That's just how it is. That's the way it is, guys. Look, guys, take care. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all. Hopefully we'll get you again soon. Just keep an eye out and soon, hopefully you'll get a wee look at the uh, Dal RC 3-inch fan. Let me know what you think of it. Brilliant me machine, I have to say. I'm definitely getting a fan of it. If we can get these things below 249 grams, we'll be flying. You know, none of this old registration crap. You Right, guys, I'm away. Bye-bye. Shaboo. Hee-hee. <laughs>